I'm very honored to work with my fellow commissioners who, if you aren't familiar with them yet, um, they all sum up to be some pretty outstanding people. So if, uh, if the uh, camaraderie that we've experienced already in the past week or so is an indicator of what our future work is going to be like, hardworking, diligent, very intelligent, and committed to each and every citizen of Los Angeles. Thank you. Um, I want to acknowledge um, all of you for coming here today. Appreciate it, especially my son who got here hopefully without speeding and without texting while he was driving. <laughs> uh, during the last decade, as a result of the dedication and hard work of a number of people, all the way from Washington, D.C., the Los Angeles CA, many of who are here today, the badge of the LAPD has been polished to be the finest in the nation. Large and small police departments from all over the world looking at best practices to improve their own departments call and visit the LAPD every week. From canine to SWAT, from our equestrian mounted patrol to the cadets program, this department is admired. Our police academy goes above and beyond in so many ways it is acknowledged worldwide. <coughs> Your LAPD has been released from the consent decree as a reformed group that has brought its motto to protect and to serve to a new level. However, the release from the consent decree states what remains to be seen is how the department will continue to reform, especially when a new mayor and a new commission come into play. It says, quote, the question is, will the institutions of Los Angeles under its new management be able to protect and enhance the reforms that have been achieved? Today is the beginning of the era where we will answer that question. And it is our plan to succeed aggressively by acknowledging, promoting, and innovating the positive, while also transparently, tirelessly, and appropriately dealing with the problems that arise. During our term, we will hold a LA Police Commission meeting in each council district. I look forward to visiting every station in every part of this city in each of the four bureaus. The community policing and model embraced by Chief Beck needs to be supported, expanded, technologically enhanced, and celebrated by this department and every single citizen in this great city. For example, we need the technology of in-car cameras, complemented or supplemented by lapel or on-body cameras, soon. I mean within 18 months, not 18 years. To quote from the consent decree final report, quote, this initiative is critical and will protect against bias policing while enhancing officer safety and risk management analysis and mitigating liability claims, end of quote. <clears throat> It'll save tens of millions of dollars in court cases, thousands of man hours in both LAPD and city attorney's offices, and serve to further cut crime, as the he said, she said arguments will be a thing of the past. Men, women, and children from every neighborhood need to be surrounded, surrounded by the prospects of jobs, programs in our parks, libraries, and schools, improved public education opportunities, and healthy choices. Experience has shown that being surrounded by those is far better than the alternative of being surrounded by the four walls of a jail cell. The constitutional and civil rights of every citizen and every officer are sacred and crucial. So as the poster I have from the Smithsonian gift shop and will hang in my office today says, are you doing all you can? 
I ask that question of myself, of each of the 13,000 uniformed and civilian employees of the LAPD, of every corporation, every business, every foundation, every house of prayer, and every resident of Los Angeles, are you doing all you can? Because if you do, those heading to gangs will find better paths to follow. Because if you do, those businesses contemplating locating in Los Angeles will make the move, creating thousands of jobs. Because if you do, our parks and libraries and schools will thrive. And because if you do, those who need help will get it. And this department will, for generations to come, be well run from top to bottom and be as diverse as the community in which it serves. We can accomplish that by working in partnership with LA City personnel relative to police officer recruits that are hired. Also with the chief to help him in his quest to ensure that there is diversity and women in all of its ranks and that the organization continues to remain open to women and members of the LGBT communities. Citizens of Los Angeles, this commission, supported by this mayor, this chief, this department, this city council, this protective league, this community of organized labor, and you, stands ready to do its job to help the Los Angeles Police Department protect and serve. Today we start on that mission. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioners. We do